Okay, let's try this other graph. So this is going to be r equals 3 cosine 3 theta. Now this one's a little bit different and it can be a little bit difficult to draw, but this is what we're going to call the rose curve. Okay, so this is just going to be a rose curve and the way that you identify a rose curve is that the period is actually messed up here. So um, now not, everything is not going to be from 0 to 2 pi, you're going to have some sort of different increments. So in this case to really know, we know that uh, theta initially is between uh, 0 to 2 pi, but in this case we have 3 theta is between 0 to 2 pi. So in order for me to know where theta is, well theta is going to be between 0 and 2 pi over 3. Okay, so here is theta, here is r. Okay, so here's going to be 0, uh, 2 pi over 3 is going to be somewhere around here. And then let's just look at the midpoint. So the midpoint of this is going to be pi over 3. Then we have pi over 6, and then we're going to have uh, pi over 2, okay? And I left a little bit of space here because what happens here is that when you're drawing the rose curve, you sometimes get part of it, and the way that you are able to um, get the entire rose curve is by adding more increments um, to this to this graph, and you'll you'll see um, you'll see it in a moment. So um, let's just do the the three. So the three means that I have an amplitude of three. Okay, here's minus three, and let me just draw the cosine curve. So cosine curve starts like this. Okay, so this is how the curve looks like. And now, uh, if this was x and y, but clearly we want r and theta, so we want to uh, put this in the polar plane. Okay, so. Um, the first thing that we want to look at is theta equals zero. So when theta is zero, my radius in this case is going to be three. Okay, so here theta equals to zero, and my radius is going to be three units. Okay, so here's my first one. So the way that I can just go ahead and draw this is this way. So I can say, okay, oh, I can go the other direction, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so I'm going to go to theta equals three. Okay. Then the next thing that it says is that, okay, well, at pi over 6, because that's our next um, theta value, at theta equals pi over 6, which is roughly around here, right? at theta equals pi over 6, I am going to go back to 0, okay? So my radius in this case is 0. So this one is just going to go back to 0. Okay, so there's my first leaf. Um, then the next one is going to be pi over 3. So at pi over 3, that's somewhere around over here. Okay, so at theta equals pi over 3. Okay, my radius is going to be negative 2. Uh, I'm sorry, negative 3. So that means if I were to extend this line all the way down, okay, my radius is going to be negative 3. So I'm going backwards. Here is negative 3. So now here is going to be my start of my other pedal. Oops, I messed up. Uh, undo, and then let's draw it something like that, okay? And then at pi over 2, theta equals pi over 2, you go back to 0, okay? So you start to see kind of each petal just appearing. Um, then the last one, 2 pi over 3, so 2 pi over 3 is somewhere right here, okay? Well, if I can draw right Okay, so theta equals 2 pi over 3. That one's going to be at the radius in that case. Let me, let me draw the other one. So theta equals pi over 3. What did we say? We said the radius was negative 3. Theta equals pi over 2. We said that the radius was equal to 0. And theta equals 2 pi over 3. My radius in this case is going to be 3. Okay, so 1, 2, 3. Okay, it's going to look something like this. All right now, as you can see, we didn't really complete the graph, but we can if you want to, because what you can do now, you can start adding more increments. So after two pi over three, what's going to be next? So um, this is going to be one, two, three, four. So this is going to be five pi over six. That's the next point. So that one's going to be at zero. Then I can continue on to pi. At pi is going to be negative three. Okay, and I can continue doing more and more increments the more that I go, and I can go 7 pi over 6, and so on and so forth. So at theta equals 5 pi over 6, okay, my radius is going to be 0, so that you can see that at theta equals 5 pi over 6, we are going to go back to 0, okay? And then you can see that my graph is actually completed, because at theta equals pi, 
you see that my radius is back at negative 3. And here is theta equals pi. Well, at theta equals pi, negative 3 is going to be the opposite direction. So we're just kind of highlighting this again. So what's going to happen is that now the entire graph is just going to be um, highlighted over and over and over again. So this is actually my full graph. So here is my rose curve. So it, it does take a little bit more work than what it should be. Um, I am not going to do something greater than three. I will not do something with five leaves or anything like that. We will just stick with uh, with three because it can get a little complicated. But I'll show you an easier way to do it in the next video. Because um, I think sometimes with dealing with degrees can help a lot more than when dealing with radians. So.